Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. And then using both of those, I combine that and, you know, start creating what the character will actually look like. And then, you know, I'd be like, hey, Patrick, check this out. See, uh, see if it fits. And most of the time, there's not really anything to fix. Just be like, can you make this a different color, you know, or something like that. But for the most part, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. So, yeah. Now, the, I mean, as, as collectively as three of you guys, who are we missing? So we're they're missing. They're not here to speak for themselves. So who are we missing? Yeah. So we missing. Uh, we missing Ken. Ken and Duke. Uh, they have the same position as the content coordinators. So um, like Duke was saying, you know, he kind of keeps things in line. He keeps things in check. You know, uh, like I was telling you, you know, on the way here, um, if I introduce an idea or a concept in like chapter four, you know, they try. They make sure that you know I don't stray too far away from it, or I still have plans to bring it back up. Cause you don't want to introduce some shit and then you just you just forget about it, you know, for like thirty or forty plus chapters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, that's Duke and Ken's role. Then um, you know, we got my guy Blake. Uh Blake, he's out there in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Uh he'll be graduating uh this next semester and he's actually uh, an up and coming animator. And so whenever, you know, um, God blesses us with the opportunity to get to the, get to the stage to where you know we can turn it you know from from a manga and a comic series into a show. And, you know that's that's why I want Blake it, you know to, to help with the animation part. Mm -hmm. And then you know we got Gino. Gino's all the way out there in Hawaii. Wow. You know yeah. So so we we got family all over. But, uh, deep. Yeah, we deep. Yes. Yeah. I ain't even talked about you know the you know our, our attorney friends, our marketers, and nothing like that. But you know this is you know our immediate six. You know this is the creative team. You know so this. The Avengers, you know, this, yeah, this Avengers, you know, and you know it's kind of cool because you know me, uh, me and Ian they pointed out, you know, for the first Avengers movie they met up in New York and it was only six of them, right? I believe so. It was six yeah. of them, and yeah. so it was six of us, and we all met up for the first time together as a team in New York to go meet, you know, with uh, with Biz Media. Mm -hmm. So, so it was kind of cool. Wow, wow, that's 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 great. It's it's just this great, and I was telling Patrick that normally um, the platform that I have I use for all this. I was even telling you. But just the fact that we're talking about something different now, you guys may inspire kids to tap in something else. You know, we we in hoods all over the Amer all over America, yeah. and all we be plagued by traumatic event. I mean, traumatic experiences, gun violence, and stuff like that. Now we can sit down and let's get back into reading and tap into our imagination. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, God punch or Percival. Mm -hmm. This he's the main character. Yeah. I know we have the angels, the right, other characters. Right. Are we looking for other uh, other characters going to be on the way as well? Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, man, uh, man, representation matters. Yes. So uh, we did. We got some beautiful, strong black women that we done came up with together. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got to have the little girls, you know, want to, you know, dress up as the, you know, as, as some of our characters, whatever, for Halloween. Mm -hmm. and, you know, um, of course, you know, they got their big natural froze and they got their natural hairstyle because, you know, I love when, when, when black women embrace that, yeah. you know. So we got we got just about everybody, man. And not even just, you know, include, you know, more black people than anything. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to include a bunch of mythologies, you know, yeah. from, from, from Chinese mythology. Um, so many people, you know, they, they make movies about Greek mythology. But, you know... I want to include a lot of African mythology. You know, I want to include a lot of a lot of deities from the different countries in Africa. That's one thing that you know. I don't think that uh, I don't think it gets a lot of press. I don't think a lot of people do it. I think a lot of people are ignorant to it. So that's one thing that I really want to include because you know those are our roots essentially, and you know they deserve just, just as much attention as anybody else's. And not even just Egypt. Like, yeah, man, not just no. Egypt. No, 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 no. Yeah, let me clarify. Not just Egypt. Yeah, you know. So, uh, uh, I want to say in chapter twenty-eight, I'm on, I'm on all the way out there. You know, yeah. I'm right. I think I included a, a deity from South Africa. Yeah. I ain't gonna go too much into it, you know. But uh, just knowing, I feel like just people all across the world knowing that, like, hey, you know, like someone else is paying attention to our culture. You know, someone, you know, uh, someone wants to put it out there. You know, someone wants to, you know, kind of give us a limelight. I think that's important. And, you know, me, I'm a social worker, I believe in empowerment, yeah. and I believe that, you know, when you can see something, you know, that, that, that comes from where you come from, yeah. and it reminds you of yourself, you know, and empowers you to go and do great things. Yeah. Now, I remember that you, you guys, you guys said that y'all had, um, had a meeting with some other guys now. Okay. Now, I'm not going to reveal who they are, unless you guys want to, but 
Are you guys open to other investors as well? Like, hey, we want to we want to put it, help you guys take it off because, like, sometimes those big companies mm -hmm. they may they may shun off all. Oh, it's nothing. Yep. We get a million of these, and it may be that that other guy or somebody else who believes in you can help you take it to where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying to say this: Are you guys open to anybody who want to invest in you in you guys creative? Yeah. I mean, we're always willing to sit down and listen, you know, I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, definitely. I mean, anybody that's interested in the project is, you know, that, that's somebody we need to be, yeah. you know, paying attention to because um, we can always use more people um, to, to spread the word of our project and, you know, help Especially if you're trying to, you know, there. back us, you know. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, especially, oh, yeah, if, you're trying to, especially if you're trying to back us. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely open to it, man. Um, I said uh, on one interview, man, shit, being self-made hard to do, but somebody got to do it, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, it might as well be us, yeah. and, you know. But uh, like we were talking about, you know, on our way here, um, using your nine to five to find your five to nine, you know, it's hard, you know. Um, and I feel like a lot of people, you know, they have like these dope ass great ideas, and they're either scared to take that next step, or you know, they're scared of failure, or you know, they just don't have the financial backing because it, it costs money to, you know what I'm saying, to, to chase your dreams, you know? Like, people tell you all the time, you know, chase your dreams, go go do what makes you happy. That shit ain't cheap. No. You know, it's, it's not cheap at all. And, and you still gotta live. And you still gotta live, you know? Yeah. That's the thing. I don't know how much we spent so yeah. far going to conventions. Going to promoting, conventions, yeah. promoting. You know. can, you, can you give out a budget? Uh, budget, man. I don't man, think it's unlimited, God. bro. When yeah. it comes, it goes. That's yeah. Listen, it listen. If somebody hit me and say, "Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, Pat, I see y'all doing y'all thing with God Punch. I can't give you no money, but I mean, shit, I pay for y'all get some water burger. Say less. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, say less. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, I ain't gonna say, you know, we just starving or whatever. But I mean, any help that someone is willing to give us, like, man, I'll take it. You know, I'm not some arrogant ass nigga. You know, who thinks that you know I don't need nobody. I wouldn't be here without my team, and you know, we damn sure wouldn't be here without people who don't put their dollars behind us. Because, like, of course, from the home team, I was going to buy, I was going to get it off the rip. Yo. I was going to get it regardless, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's just it's just good to see. Mm -hmm. It's just good to see, and it's so refreshing to, to get into someone else. Like, like normally, y'all would be considered like nerds. Yo, like, I mean, yeah, we still are. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 we still are. Like, you know what I'm saying? We still are. Yo. Like, so have people call y'all nerds? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with but it. it. But I'm the coolest it, nerd you'll ever meet. But yeah. it's not it's never derogatory. Yeah, it's not derogatory. Yeah. Cause I mean the thing is, I feel like when me and you were growing up, Jerry, you know what I'm saying, people frowned upon that shit, you know? Mm -hmm. But like now, you know, a lot of people they'll look at different series or you know, you be scrolling across the TV, you know, you see like an anime, you see two niggas fighting and she like, Oh that shit hard, nigga. Yeah. Next thing you know, you know, you, you don't watch like seventy episodes, you know, and you know what I'm saying, you googling fights, trying to see what happened next. So the term nerd is, is not necessarily a, a, a slur or as used as you know, some a derogatory phrase anymore. Yeah. So, you know, now you know people capitalize off, you know, they call us blurs now because we black nerds. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying, you got a convention called blurred kind, you know what I'm saying? And it's but to my knowledge, you know, everybody's welcome, but you it's know, it's a totally different world. It's a totally different world. Another yeah. world. And I want to say this as well, too, as far as to bring the correlation to rap and, and, and comics and yeah. stuff. Same thing how Wu Tang came together. They watched Kung Fu movies. Yeah. And they incorporated it into their rap. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted to listen to their unorthodox flows. Yeah. And they, they tried to be one of the most legendary groups yeah. to even. Pick up on your microphone. Yo. So the fact that not saying you I mean, let me say you're an artist too, yeah. but the fact that you know you're using your your imagination Yo. to conjure up different thoughts and yeah. distribute something like distribute something out to the world, Yo. to me it's like that's me, that's that's cold. That's that's Yo. nice. I mean it's dope, it's different, it's terrifying, oh, it's exhilarating, man, but it's been a journey on Emotional. Yeah, it was definitely man. emotional, man. Mm -hmm. You got your ups and downs, you know, your good days, bad days with the project, man. But it's, all in all, it's, it's, it's very rewarding. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm blessed anytime somebody says, you know, hey, you know, I, you know, I checked out your series, you know, on Webtoon. Because people can read it free on Webtoon, you know, you don't just have to buy, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, you know, the hard Webtoon? Kind of, yeah, on Webtoon. So, uh, Webtoon is an app where, you know, people, they can submit their own stories and things like that. And, you know, people can read them. And the dope thing about Webtoon is that they publish your series, you know, whenever you upload it. So, it's free publishing right there. Mm. You know? And so, uh, 
the fact that, you know, people say, hey, you know, I, I checked out your web tune, you know. It was this one cat. Uh, I woke up this morning and checked Twitter, and it was this one cat. I don't even follow this man. This man don't follow me. He done tag me in a tweet talking about, hey, you know, read God Punch, you know what I'm saying? Here's an author right here. And I'm like, bro, I don't even know you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, you know, Allende, uh, he had tagged me in a tweet. You know, he's scrolling on Twitter, and it's a girl she's wearing.